Hello folks, Nabil from Auto Repair Champs. Got 2012 GMC Terrain with a 2.4 engine in it. And customer complaints is uh, they're getting the engine reduced power on the dash. And uh, they're getting that on the dash here with the check engine light on. And then uh, basically that's going into normal mode to a limp mode and that's why it reduces the power and the purpose of reducing the power on these engines is to uh, not allow any damages to the engine and it reduces the power so it prevents any damages to the engine where you actually have to pull over stop the car and if you restart the car it will uh it will exit out of that limp mode and then go back to normal, but that's not a solution. The problem needs to be fixed. So we hooked up my scanner, and the error code that we are getting is the fuel trim system rich. And it's the P0172. And uh, I, got, I got some uh, good idea about what could be the problem here. And um, I'm about to start uh, diagnostics on this vehicle and uh, see what's going on. But the first thing that we did uh, was we smelled the oil in the engine and noticed that it's got a fuel mixed with the engine oil. And that's, if we pull this out, uh, it's it's got a fuel smell into it. And uh, that's telling me that the engine is mixing fuel and um, oil together in the engine and whenever that happens and whenever you get these codes with uh, uh, with these kind of cars especially, especially the 2.4s and you get in the fuel trim system rich um, it's it's always something related to the uh, high pressure fuel pump the high pressure fuel pump is located right here, and that's a, that's a good um, good um, area to start diagnostics on this area with the fuel. So we're gonna start pulling some data from the scanner, and we start we need to start looking at some uh, fuel pressure information, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I had to hook this stuff back in to be able to start the car up and keep it running but I wanted to show you the kind of uh, numbers that I'm seeing that uh, confirms and an another verification to that uh, this is a fuel pressure problem with the vehicle and this is gonna be the problem right here this is where the high pressure fuel pump is located that's what's gonna look like and that's how it's going to go, right? Just like that. The part number for this is 12641847. And this is a genuine part number. And the uh, data that we're seeing, as you guys can see, we're seeing some negative numbers on the short term fuel trim. Um, and the minus 49, these numbers should be in a positive. So that's an indication and then if we go down fuel tank pressure sensor is also in the negative uh everything else is positive here that's an indication that we got a problem with that uh, high pressure um uh, fuel pump we're just going to go ahead and replace it we're not going to show you the details and replacing this because i'm actually recording by myself but basically this has got two bolts on this side just going to have to lose pressure and then remove this harness and remove the tube underneath and this side here and then uh, it's got a little gasket and then just uh, put it back in we're going to go ahead and replace this and uh, we'll let you guys know uh, what happens after we're done i'm back guys uh, again this video intended not to show you how to install the uh, high pressure fuel pump it's more of a you know if this resolves the problem or not 
uh, scenario. So that's why I did not show you how you, you know, you replace this. Again, I was recording by myself and it was really hard to do this by myself. So anyways, we put this in. We're going to continue hooking this up. Uh, this pipe right here. This is done. The harness. And then uh, we did, of course, change the uh, uh, oil. Don't forget to change the oil because it does have fuel mixed in it. Um, after we're done, we're going to look at those numbers that were in negative and see um, if we made any improvement in there. And then if we're still getting that check engine light, uh, I believe it was uh, 127, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see if I can still... I don't know if I can still get that uh, code from my scanner, but uh, yeah, uh, it's about that fuel trim. Anyways, uh, let's finish up with this and I'll let you guys know uh, how it goes. All right, guys, so I I put everything back. Um, I still got to put a bracket back right here by the fuel pressure pump. And that bracket was right there, but I wanted to hook up some of this stuff here and hook up my scanner and I'll show you that short and long fuel tram data as you guys can see we're getting positive data compare this data to the previous that I showed you how it was a negative we're not getting those negative number values anymore um, again this is probably the only and the first video on YouTube that shows uh, the, the fuel mixture with the oil engine how it get mixed together and then you get that code if there is no spark plugs issue and there is no evap leak and there is no problem with the fuel PCV or uh, EGR and none of those vacuum issues you probably want to focus on that high pressure uh, fuel pump so um Try to get you some decent scanner and try to uh, uh, monitor the short and long fuel trim on uh, that uh, 2.4 GMC terrain and uh, look at some value and some data and uh, if you have any questions comment below and good luck with your project thanks and we'll see you with another one